Welcome into our final coaches show of the 2023 season. Blake Lolly is with me once again. Coming off win number 300 of your uh, managing career. Let's start with that, man. Congratulations, first of all. And what did that mean to you, the, uh, the culmination of, of all those wins over the years? What does it mean? It, I mean, it sounds like a lot of wins, right? It, it just, it, I think of like all the players that I've managed and the, the, the teams that I've had and I've been fortunate to, to have really good staff and really good players and it's, it's led to, a, you know, a lot of wins. So, um, and you know, they're, they're attached to my name, but there's many, many other people that contribute to those. So. Let's look at this year's team in 2023. Um, still a lot of work to do, right? But looking to be 20, 25 games over 500 at the end of the year. When you look back at this team, what is special about it? I think the consistency, uh, or, or let me take a step back. I think there's been times, I think in both halves, we, we started off slow. And, and the fact that all the staff, all the players trusted in themselves to not try and do too much and trust the team that we were and it's led to a lot of wins right? like these these guys are really good we're a really good baseball team and uh you look at the the body of work over the year i mean it, it's it's pretty special um pitching staff has done nothing but get better throughout the year they really have especially the bullpen um we've leaned on them heavily in the second half um offense has been you know, one of the best offenses in all of baseball for, uh, for the year. And from a team standpoint, um, we, you know, we're a couple wins away from having the most wins and an and Aces team's ever had. So it's it, it's been a good year. This is a team, too, that um, you know, obviously has had some challenges throughout the year. Of course, any year will have that. In what ways has your team overcome such challenges? I think right now in the midst of some injury troubles as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Another reason we, we've won a lot of games is th at this level there's, there's a lot of change, whether it's um, people going up, going down, getting hurt for whatever the reason, there's a lot of change. And it seems like every time we've lost someone big to our lineup, someone else steps up mm -hmm. and becomes one of those big guys in our lineup or big guys out of the pen. And uh, it... They really have. I mean, we have had people step up time and time again all year long, and, and, and that's what you need to happen because injuries and, and, and roster uh, transactions, like they, they, they hurt your club for sure. It's interesting because it, felt, it feels like not only guys just stepping up but having dominant stretches like Kyle Lewis, Dominic Canzone. I mean, you've had those guys not only step up but just dominate the league which is an excellent league. We've been all around the league, right, by now. We've gone to every city here this year. Um, in what ways is Reno special, unique, this ballpark, this community? Why is it special to you? Um, the, the support. Uh, you know, we did the season ticket mm -hmm. holder thing yesterday. Um, and, you know, those, you can see, like, those, the people around here care. And, um, you know, I, I think it's such a cool city. I think there's... There's a lot of culture. Um, you know, you have, you have a little bit of everything here. It really is the biggest little city. It's a, it's a great place um, for guys to spend the summer um, and work and play baseball. And, um, you know, we, the fans have come out this year. Um, and it, it's been fun. It feels like a home ballpark. I can't say every city I've been to as a player, as a manager, that you – distinctly have like a, a home field type advantage or, or whatnot. But I feel like when we're here, it does feel like home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll finish with this. Your coaching staff has been, uh, it, it's a combination of that 2021 staff and then last year's staff as well. It's the dream team is what it is. Yeah. What's special about this, this, this coaching staff? Yeah. Uh, I could go on forever about these guys. Um, you know, Mark Reed, uh, Mark Reed, one of my best friends, literally my first roommate in professional baseball. Um, I've watched his career as a player and as a coach grow, and I, I see how he helps these guys and relates to them every single day, and he makes a difference. And he does an unbelievable job coaching third base. And Travis Danker, first time I've ever got to work side by side with Travis, and he's another difference maker. These hitters, 
Um, they rely on him. They love him. He loves them. Um, and, you know, you, you see what the offense has done this year. And, it, you know, players play, but it, that stuff can't happen without someone like Travis. It really can't. And then, uh, you know, I've had history with both Doug and Jeff. You know, uh, I was with Doug in 2019 in AA in the Southern League, and we won the championship. And um, all the way back to my childhood growing up in Pittsburgh and watching Doug win the Cy Young for the Pirates. And, and uh, he has this unbelievable ability to relate to these guys and keep it loose and get them better. And Jeff and Doug both put so much into the pitching staff. The, the players, they are, they are very thankful towards the staff, but, but I, I, I'm going to take it another level and say they, they, they have no clue how lucky they are to have two, two guys like that working with them on a pitching staff every day. And, of course, at the helm of all of that is Blake Lally, who, uh, again, win number 300 in his minor league career, has led this team to a whole lot of success this year, the PCL West Championship. And, um, Skip, it's been a pleasure working with you this year, man. It's been a pleasure. All right. There you go. That's our final coaches show of the, of the 2023 season.